Hey, what's up guys, Max here. So we got a very anticipated moment that we were, a lot of us were waiting for and saving up for, which is the Battlegrounds Update Rewards. Um, I don't know how many tokens you've been saving. Hopefully you saw the Kabam uh, announcement saying, hey, the store is going to get updated on the 22nd of June. And, you know, whether you wanted to buy or needed to buy or chose to buy items from the old store, uh, hopefully you were advised by either friends, Lions friends, that to hold off because this store is much more valuable for your tokens. So first of all, let's take a look at how many tokens I currently have. I have at 121,750 tokens <laughs> and um uh i've been saving so i've been holding off from buying uh stuff in the store so very cool to have that it's quite a good a large amount especially since the cap i believe is one hundred and fifty thousand. if you're wondering when it comes to uh being able to hold for uh purchases from the battleground store now a couple of things i am excited for we're just going to cover this um i've mentioned it in the previous video hopefully i did release it i make a lot of content sometimes i don't get to edit and then publish the video so i hope i did release that one but if i didn't uh here is a follow-up to this or a video to you to saying what i'm excited for we're gonna start off with uh the biggest thing the biggest thing i'm super pumped about is gonna be the t3 and the t6 basic catalyst as these price uh limits the, well, the price was dropped but then the increase in purchase limits was also increased so a huge dub how's it hold like this is it west coast or is it w <laughs> it's one of those um in uh that kebab gets for doing this uh to help uh, a lot of the players that enjoy battlegrounds that push in battlegrounds and that go for the constant milestones and just overall have a good time with battlegrounds and they're going to be getting rewarded with the updated store to pick up more rewards for just playing the game right so that's very exciting so we're going to be buying those um, but first before we do get into the purchases let's take a look at our inventory and see what it looks like so currently i'm in a uh, just just fragments ahead on the t3s uh, with a total of what is it five and on the uh, T6s with a total of four. So uh, we're going to go ahead and buy these. Uh, let's go back to the Battleground store. Uh, like I said, those are going to be my, my, my ones that I want to buy the most. So, and then notice that it doesn't increase when it comes to the cost. So let's say I just wanted to buy one, right? Uh, the next purchase, which is the same amount, 6750 still 1000 the next purchase still again 1000 so sometimes you had these where they were increasing sometimes in certain situations um i don't think i don't know if battlegrounds ever increased um i think i don't know i don't think they did i don't think that i'm thinking probably of a different store the loyalty store or or glory store i think that's what i'm thinking but just note for this purpose is that we're going to be spending 10000 uh, of our tokens inside the alpha, the T3 alphas, the T6 basics as well, 10,000 of them. Um, and let's go take a look at our inventory to see uh, what that looks like now. We have six and six right across the board. Um, we're going to be hitting incursions for the fragments as well, whether we clear the entire room, 26 rooms, to get the fully formed catalyst. We're going to be buying stuff from the loyalty store. So we're just going to get everything possible to get our um to get our six stars that are crucial for battlegrounds to rank five that's it and then um and then we're going to be focusing on uh seven stars to rank two as well but for now uh battleground season uh nine announcements have been made which is another video that i did not publish and probably will here um but we will you've probably seen this video first um when it comes to uh what the nodes are going to be like it's interesting that they're going with the two meta option uh splitting the month into two sections instead of four so that's really cool so you can really go and if you need to do some rank three some rank fours some rank fives in your account uh for the meta specifically you can focus it more aggressive now 
um, and just take better advantage of the meta. So just just a simple tip inside the Battleground Update Store video here. Uh, the other thing we're going to be buying, which is incredibly good, it's going to be the selectors. Where are they? Tier 5% Tier 6 selector. So if you can see there, there's a purchase cap of 5, which is 7,550. This one I got to be a little bit cautious and careful for um, because... I do want to make sure I, you know, obviously focus. There's got to be a champion, by the way, if you're doing this. It's got to be a champion you have in mind already or or possibility of a champion you might get or grind for or a champion that you you got, you're going to awaken, you know is good. Hopefully you enjoy playing them as well that you're going to be using these catalysts for, for a rank 5 or a rank 2 as a 7 star if you're lucky enough to get it. But I already have a champion in mind. If you've been participating in the streams, um, then you know what this is going towards. Leave it in the comments if you know uh, what champion the these are going to be heading and being used to but of course you know it's mutant so that kind of breaks it down very easily for you but we're focusing everything especially when we have the selector there's no rng when it comes to the five percent to choose mutant as you saw you have i have one catalyst already we're going to be going uh 100 all of it on mutant uh, and the idea here is to get all three eventually catalysts formed um, when it comes to that now there is 10 uh, five percent crystals which is a total of 12,000 tokens uh, quite expensive especially if you're gonna be buying this you know quite often I think because of the battleground store excitement I might pick up all 10 right now um, but other than that uh, besides picking up some catalyst that I might be interested in I think the next option that I would probably focus on if I'm running a little bit light on um, whether it's not from like AQ rewards I'm not able to pick it up um, would be the T5 and T2 alphas but I doubt it I think from when it comes to Alliance quest I should be able to meet my minimums when it comes to these two catalyst um if i can't then i'll kind of filter some here in the battleground store the uh signature stones um i uh Kabam has been doing a lot uh, something recently and it's i don't know if it's going to be an ongoing thing but for the last three or four months Kabam has been doing uh six star signature offers in the store um unit stores so um you know, whether you want to use your tokens for that or you want to use your tokens for rank 4, rank 5 materials, rank 2 materials, and then leave that when it comes to other purchases. Might be a move you do. Also, if your roster is not plenty size-wise big enough, um, then you might also want to focus your uh, attachment here when it comes to shards, 6-star shards to grow your roster. This is another play that I might consider. Um... It looks like there's going to be possibilities of me able to grind majority of the six star feature champions because the grinds seem very attainable, uh, especially with the uh, bans that Kabam made when it comes to like uh, people using bots in the arenas. Um, I am still un I'm not 100% on the fact that Kabam has fully cleared the bots in the arenas for people using them. Uh, it's been rumor and kind of like floating around people going out and actually saying, hey, take a look at my info. Here is me using a bot. I did not get banned and I just got the new champion. So it's like I said, it's interesting to know that information. And then on the other side, know that Kabam is saying we're trying to get these uh, these guys using the bots. But I know this person's using it and nothing's happened to him. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't know what direction I want to go if I want to keep going. Try to do the arenas myself and, um, and then, you know, pick up champions from there or possibly keep doing arenas and then actually lose on that. But that might be an option. The other thing, too, we're going to wait until rank rewards do come out uh, before I do decide to buy these fragments. Uh, you're going to get 700s or 1400 every time it resets if you decide to buy this twice. Um, this is going to be helpful for prestige to get your relics, your five rank, your five star rank, uh, relics to rank four, maxing them out. 
Uh, it's going to be a beneficial item. This is the first time we're seeing them being sold in the Battleground store. We are, have seen them uh, for side quests. We have seen them uh, in the um, Battlegrounds placements. Um, so first time seeing them in the store. So excited for that too. Um, these are going to be purchased on a must kind of needed situation since relic is not a priority at the moment it's it's good for prestige but you got to get the relic you got to awaken the relic and then you want to focus your uh rank up of that relic um so and then the seven star shorts were extremely expensive as that is the highest um form of you know champion you can get there is tons of benefits we already know when it comes to seven stars compared to your six star rosters at 150, you know, shards per, uh, per, what is it, 1850 for, uh, tokens, it doesn't seem like a good value. I just, I'm passing up on that, but I did want to touch up on that as that is one uh, new update. The other six star relic option shards, another update, again, it very expensive for what you're getting, probably going to pass up on that. I really, the entire seasons prior to the update to this battleground store i never ended up buying um the uh these five four star shards when it comes to the store so again i'm gonna pass up on all these items uh for now um but like i did say that i am going to be picking up these five percent rngs um so let's go for 10 which is twelve thousand uh tokens there are quite a lot of tokens but we're gonna pop these open and again hopefully we get some good rng and then we do get an option to pick up some mutants uh i would love also some tech and cosmic those would probably might be my best options if i could uh get those classes as well but mutant is going to be my biggest focus here because we want to take up a rank five four uh season nine so as soon as we find them here we go we have 10 of them uh let's just go ahead and pop all 10 and see what the rewards are looking like <laughs> not, a, not a single mutant wow this is crazy um th <laughs> this is why <laughs> you don't base it on rng uh apparently there i mean there's there can be a conspiracy in that i I did this all in one take and the fact that I chose uh, mutant for the selectors could be a, a indicator that hey kabam knew that already you know implement something to not give you more mutant but um yeah <laughs> this is what we get uh, this is interesting uh, cosmic um, very close so 45 to 57 uh, the skill science um, still ways to go mystics ways to go because i don't even have a catalyst there when it comes to skill um i i have three and i'm undecisive if i want to do a rank five on this yet or if i want to go the six seven start to rank two um and then i have zero on the tech um and the lowest fragments options on the tech too so uh yeah didn't get much here um, but overall, dude, very excited for the store. Like I said, uh, uh, rank rewards are yet to be announced and released into our games. Um, it's Thursday as the making of this video. Uh, most likely, typically, rewards come out on Friday or Saturday or sometime during uh, the break between Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds starts Wednesday of the next week, so excited for that too as we're going to be going live with basically just to kind of play the meta, the the uh, victory track, and also do maybe a rank up here and there if needed uh, from my account uh, for those, um, uh, for the victory track. Don't I don't want to uh, focus too much on the victory track as I rather uh, put my resources for what's the gladiator track uh, on the final week as that's more important. I'm um, sorry, this is what I meant to show you is my uh, tier six uh, inventory. Um, so very close to forming that second, like I said, mutant option. And uh, we're going to do it. And then we're going to push all our resources to make sure we get the uh, third. And we're going to be taking up that champion up. So leave it in the comments if you know who that is. And then undecisive on my skill champion yet. And... Uh, Man, it's, you know, science is my next one, pretty much. 
um, and that might have to be a long wait as I love Hulk, I enjoy Hulk, and he needs three catalysts to take him to rank two, um, unless I go Scorpion. But um, the other ones, we, we were waiting. Uh, event comes live next week, Friday, so we're going to see more options and what Kabam is going to give uh, out when it comes to that event. So, you know, this can change. My plans can completely change by next week, Friday because uh, we have the 4th of July event coming. So that, again, can shift my whole entire uh, focus on champions because we might get seven star champions we don't have that and, and just, it just, it might completely change everything that I wanted to do. But so far we have a plan and we're kind of sticking to it. Let me know what you guys are picking up in the store. Did you save up your tokens? Uh, I'm interested in knowing how many people actually saved tokens uh, because Obviously, this was a nice update. We quite we actually spent quite a lot. We went down to eighty two thousand, um, and we're just gonna hold here. Like I said, it's just don't really need anything else, um, and might end up ranking a champion. I am yeah, taking a champion to rank four one hundred percent. Just not in this video. We're gonna wait. There's no rush on level up, so just make sure we get those units. And yeah, the goal now is to get and save in between seasons uh, as many units as possible. Um, as those units are going to get consumed in the next season. So good luck out there, guys, in the Battlegrounds world. And uh, keep playing the game. Say no to temptations. Say no to hacks, cheats, mercs. Be careful. Trust me, you don't want to risk your account if you're watching this. Kabam is not messing around. And just if you made it this far that as an advice it sucks to lose your account we're seeing it quite often we're seeing it happen to friends uh that play the game and it's just it's unfortunate right but peace see you in the next one